To begin the nuclear process, we need to unlock it in the hub. That's part of tier 8, nuclear power. This will give us the uranium fuel rods and the nuclear power plants. The nuclear power plants will generate uranium waste when they burn uranium fuel rods. Later on, part of the particle enrichment process is you can create plutonium fuel rods. And that process takes the uranium waste and converts it into plutonium pellets. And that process allows you to sink the plutonium fuel rods and you can have a zero waste setup. That's something we'll do in the future. Right now, we are just simply focusing on the getting the nuclear power up and running. At this point, I'd like to stress that you should be automating the iodine infused filters. These work in conjunction with the hazmat suit and allow you to work around uranium without taking damage. You'll be very frustrated later down the track when you realize that you are taking damage from the uranium process and then you have to stop what you're doing there to go and deal with making filters. So go and set that up now if you haven't already, you'll thank me in the long run. So all we have to do is select the milestone and fill with those items required. Press the big red button. Excellent, now that we've unlocked the nuclear power in the hub, we can go about setting up the uranium fuel rod process. That will be discussed shortly and we look forward to talking about that soon. Welcome pioneers. What you're looking at here is a platform that's 32 by 29 in size. And this is the entire production process for six manufacturers making uranium fuel rods. Along the right hand side there are the six manufacturers. All the recipes being used here are base recipes. There's no hard drive alternatives being used. The goal of this is to show you how easy it is to make uranium fuel rods. You don't need to go hard drive hunting and get any special recipes. This design is targeted at supplying 10 nuclear reactors that are at 100% clock rate. Specifically, you only need five manufacturers making uranium fuel rods. But from my experience, it's always better to create just a little bit more, especially when you're talking about power and having uh, just a little bit more being made, especially when one manufacturer takes two and a half minutes to make one uranium fuel rod. So it can be a bit delayed in getting, especially when the product here is going to be droned out to the location where the reactors are. The goal of supplying 10 nuclear reactors is so that the 100 uranium waste that's generated per minute will feed the plutonium fuel rod process and hence you can sink the plutonium fuel rods and have a minimal waste power setup. That will be demonstrated in another video later. This is a good stepping stone in the game where you can produce your uranium fuel rods first start generating nuclear power, store the waste generated from those reactors until you get to the stage in the game where the refinement process is unlocked and you're able to do the plutonium fuel rods. You can then sink that built up uranium waste and then at that point you are then back to a minimum waste setup. What's required here is uranium, limestone, sulfur, iron or coal, copper ore, cotyrium ore, and crude oil. Now, technically crude oil is not required at all. I'm using that to create empty canisters to sink the sulfuric acid byproduct instead of trying to feed it back to the input loop. This is because of unexpected results I've experienced and other people have experienced from using feedback loops. Not only with this feedback loop with the blenders, but also feedback loops with the aluminum process. Because this is a production process that creates fuel rods for nuclear reactors, you don't want to have a process such as a feedback loop that can possibly back up your production process and grind it to a halt. 
you're just going to have a world of hurt. That's why I've opted for the sinking method. In part two, we will go through in more detail the uranium fuel rod build and the techniques used. Don't forget to check out the Satisfactory Guru website for articles full of tips and tricks to assist you in your satisfactory journey.